Hi, I'm Senator Al Franken. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you today in person, but I want to thank you for holding this very important event and for your work to bridge the digital divide. As I travel around Minnesota, I've seen too many places where access to high-speed internet is lacking. This is especially true for our rural communities, and there's no question that a major discrepancy exists between rural and urban areas when it comes to accessing broadband. I've met with business owners who have to come to work, uh, at, back into work at night to update their websites because the network was too busy during the day. I've heard from students who have to drive to McDonald's to get Wi-Fi to do their homework in the car. And I've heard from farmers who op whose operations struggle when their unreliable broadband goes out. That is unacceptable. Access to broadband is an issue that affects the future and vitality of every individual and business in the 21st century commerce, connectivity, and the livelihood of millions of Americans is dependent on a strong broadband network. That's what makes your work so important by working collaboratively with communities and policymakers to ensure that every Minnesotan has access to affordable and reliable broadband. You're playing a critical role in helping to close the digital divide. And I'm proud to be your partner in Washington. I've been fighting to expand access to broadband since I got to the Senate. And over the last several years, I've teamed up with Republican Senator Deb Fisher from Nebraska to secure funding for rural broadband development in the budget. But I am also concerned about access to broadband in urban areas where too many Americans simply cannot afford the internet options available to them. And that's why I'm pushing the new FCC chairman to reverse his decision to scale back the Lifeline program, which has helped millions of low-income families, military veterans, and seniors in Minnesota and across the country gain access to affordable broadband. And most recently, I joined a bipartisan group of 48 senators in sending a letter to President Trump requesting that his administration include broadband investment in any infrastructure plan. I'm going to keep working to make sure that every Minnesotan and American has access to affordable high-speed internet, and I know you will too. So thank you again for all that you've done so far, and keep up the good work.